Hello and welcome to Blocks of Fury with Michael and and, and we are building a bat box today. So I've got up the um, RE batteries and um, everything else I need. So bat box. The recipe is um, these five wood, three batteries, and a copper cable. So I'll go downstairs and make it in my crafting table. Three batteries, one copper cable, and these five wood. So there you have it. That box. Shoot. Okay. I cannot stop throwing this thing. Uh, here we go. Um, I'll place. Hmm. Actually, I need to move this um, generator. So I need to build a wrench. And to do that, I need to, actually, I'm going to stick a tin, tin ore, shoot, did you, Nick, did you smell all of our copper? Um, no. Okay, where's, a bit. do you know where the rest of the copper is? Do you have ore in your inventory or something? I have 11 copper, but no ore. No ore? Okay, we must have smelted it all. Whatever, that's fine. Oh, shoot. I just accidentally smelted tin again, which was unnecessary. But I think that if you macerate it... Ah, uh, I didn't need to do that. I need to macerate one tin ore to get some tin dust. And then I need to macerate a couple, iron, a couple copper to get some copper dust. And what happens is when you mix these things, when you mix the um, actual dust of these two, you can make bronze. And this is a, hmm, it's not that useful of material, except you just need, you need it for the wrench. So, there we go, there's two tin dust, and I'll go ahead and make some copper dust. Hey, is there any, yeah, there's plenty of coal in there. Okay, I'm making some copper dust right here. Yeah, I think we're running low on coal now. We're fine, actually. Um, and if we need to, we can condense some. Because you can make 64 coal with one diamond. Okay, I need to make at least two more of these um, copper into dust. So, I'm just going to wait here. Okay, I have got that um, three copper dust and one... Actually, I've got two tin dust. And that will make me two bronze dust. Actually, I'm going to need more of that. So, uh, I'm going to have to do more waiting, but for the now, I'm just going to put this in here and wait for that to smell. And welcome back. Um, we have just made tons of copper, or rather bronze, out of copper and tin. And now I'm going to go ahead and make the wrench out of it. Which I believe is just this. Yep, there it is. There's my wrench. And the thing about the wrench that you really need is it can pick up machines. Um, if you just used a pickaxe to pick up one of these things, it would immediately break. Um, but you really don't want that. So instead, just pick it up like that. And I'm going to go ahead and place this right here. And then I'm going to place our bat box right here. And I need one more. Okay, I've actually got plenty of got just the right amount of cables. Um, so right here we've got a system that is going to, you feed a coal into this generator, it feeds into this bat box, which is going to store all the electricity, and then whenever we put in any things to smelt or macerate, it will just be ready to give them power. So you see how that's burning, and it's just putting, um, power in here, yeah, it can store up to 40,000 EU, which is actually tiny compared to, like, the higher level ones, like the MFE, which is like the higher level of the bat box, um, tier 3 instead of tier 1, can hold a million EU. So eventually we'll get there. But for right now, we have a very humble system. Um, so now we're going to make an automatic type deal where we have this macerator automatically feeding in to the electric furnace, which feeds into another chest. So to do this, we're going to need to get out of industrial craft, which is all these machines, and go into build craft. 
Um, Buildcraft is much less expensive, actually. So first of all, we're going to need some wooden transport pipes. So for this, we need glass, which I need to smelt a little bit of sand. I'm going to go ahead and do just three sand. Smelt that up. Which I might as well do four, because it'll just waste... I don't know, how many um sand can you smelt per cobble, or per coal, rather? Um... I don't know what exactly. I think it might be six. It's either six or eight. Yeah. So I want to say eight. But glass is incredibly cheap. It has one EMC. So if you just stick one glass in the um, condenser, um, with I don't know even a wood, it's one um, wood per eight glass. So you can make it pretty cheaply, pretty fast. All right. I made uh, um sixty-four irons. What was that? I made um sixty four iron ingots. Did I you macerate them first? No. Well, that wastes a ton of stuff because we could have gotten one hundred and twenty eight. Well, we would have used our diamonds though. Oh, oh, you were just making it from the diamonds. You weren't actually smelting it. So why do you need that much iron? I don't know. I just figured out um, in the future. In the future. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you do need Fair tons of iron. You need tons of iron. And how many diamonds do we have left? Okay, the one thing that you can do a lot in this that really messes it up is if you lose, you, you use the last diamond, it just, it's horrible. <laughs> because then you have no diamonds to connect stuff. Um, so while we're waiting for this and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and make a talisman of repair. Now this just makes, so everything that you put in the chest um, automatically gets repaired. Like you can put tools that are almost dead in it, and they will slowly regain um, powers. So it's really easy to make. I've already got all the materials. Um, you just need two string, a paper, and two of each type of covalent dust. So you, for paper, I believe you need three sugar cane. So I'll go ahead and then make the paper. That's just a regular Minecraft item. And then I need two string. Again, didn't get that. I have five string if you need it. Oh, I've already got it. Thanks, though. And one of each covalence dust in on, in sort of like an X-ish shape pattern. So there you go. And you have your talisman of repair. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in the tools. So, Nick, if you ever have a, um tool that's kind of running out of um, health, put it in this thing and it'll automatically get repaired. Well now that you mention it, you have a couple of things that are There you go. Okay, so that's one little thing that we can do. Um, now back to this. What was I even doing? Um, I completely forgot what I was doing. Um, I was making glass for, okay, build craft pipes. So, for these, you're going to put um, one wood on either side, and then a glass in the middle, and you've got eight pipes, and then I'll go ahead and make some cobble pipes, too. Two of those, and that should be plenty for now. Now, we also need engines, and wooden engines. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm. Where are you? I do not see the wood engine in this recipe thing. I'm going to type an engine instead. Okay, there you are. Redstone engine. That's what it was. Okay, it's um three wooden planks, one glass, two wooden gears, and a piston. Um, If you've been playing Minecraft, you probably know how to make a piston. Um, You made some iron, didn't you, Nick? I did. 64 of them. Um, if you could hit me up with, let's see, I'm gonna need three. It's in the box at the top. Oh, it is? Okay. So I just need three iron. Um, three redstone. And, what else do I need? Um, I need wood and cobble, and I've got plenty of that. So I need to make three of these pistons. Let's see. If I believe... I think that this is how to make them. I always kind of forget how to make pistons, but I think... That's why we have recipes. Indeed. 
There it is. Okay, three pistons. Got those. Now making these um, wooden planks is a little bit annoying. Or er, wooden um, gears rather. So you just put these in, and you can upgrade these to higher. And I'm gonna need. Let's see. I'll need seven. No, I'll need six of those. So I'm just gonna put in a few more. And there's six. I'll need three glass. Perfect. Okay. Um. There we go. Three of those. Three all around. Perfect. Three redstone engines. And oh, this one. And then I need to make three levers. Did you just call it a lever? I. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to admit, I watched the odds cast, and they always say Lever because they're British. So I will probably say Lever a lot. Lever. I'm an American. Lever. Okay. Um, I need two chests. Um, let's see. Okay, now Buildcraft is really cool. Essentially, what I'm using it for is to pump things through chests. Or, pump them like through chests and through different things, essentially, like the macerator and the furnace. So, I'll start out and place a chest right here. Just one chest. And then I'm going to have that pump in to the. Oh, shoot. Whatever. I can just place this chest in a slightly different place. I'm going to have this chest pump into the top of the macerator. Okay, shift clip. And that hard. Except I need this to be a wooden pipe. And put this right here. Place down the lever. And that'll pump that in there. Um same type of deal from the macerator to the other one. here place this one build this up um and finally last one okay Okay, now Nick, come up here. I've got a kind of interesting contraption to show you. What did you make? A buildcraft automated thing. It looks a lot more complicated than it is. Where did you go? You got okay, stuck. Nick has mysteriously left the premises. Okay, I actually need to eat some steak. Some of my yummy condensed steak. Okay. So this looks a lot more confusing than it is. Um, all that is going to happen is that I'm going to switch on all these levers. Right there. Right here. And right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to make all these things pump. So you place, let's say, iron ore in here. And it's going to pump it out of that chest. See how that ore is pumping out of there? And then that is going to come in the macerator, where it's going to get automatically macerated into iron dust. And once that's done macerating, it's going to pump out the dust. And the dust, you'll soon see pumping through here as soon as it's done. Um, it's going to come through this pipe, and it's going to come in here. And after it's done, yep, there's the dust coming. And then it's going to come through here, get smells in the electronic furnace, get pumped in this chest, and then you've gone from ore to bars in just one easy step. So yeah, pretty pretty cool machinery. Um, I like Buildcraft a lot. When you use it with Industrial Craft, it just makes it that much better. Which is why I just love Tech It. What are you doing over there, Nick? Um, sorting the boxes. Serving the boxes. Um, what do you mean? Oh, you're sorting the boxes. Yeah, yeah I got you. Um, yeah, so this machine should be working perfectly fine. Um, this isn't getting power for some reason. 
Oh my gosh. That's because I was an idiot. Oof. I need another copper wire. Or I should be fine, actually. You know what? Um, now, the thing with these bad boxes is they have one output face. I accidentally, um... Yeah. I just wired it up wrong. That will now smell. Yep, there we go. Um, now I need to place... And then I should get a um, there. Okay, and there you have it. It is actually set up and working now. So there, and now we have our iron ingots. And eventually we'll be able to put um, upgrades over here, and that will speed up these machines. So now we have an automated little scrap machine. Um, that sums up this episode. Thanks for watching.